Yo, I was coming to tell you that Kurt Franklin has been cloned. But let me precursor this by saying, yo, I'm a huge fan of Kurt Franklin. I've been listening to him since The Reason Why We Sing, Joy with the Georgia Mass Choir. Um, still listening to his music to this day. Love um, the rebirth of Kurt Franklin, <laughs> which is one of my favorite albums by him. Um, Fight of My Life, all that. Anyway, but to keep it 100%, keep it funky, he's been cloned. And here's my here's my reasons why. 1996, he was about to perform. I think he was on stage performing. He fell 10 feet off of a um, stage, had brain damage, brain like straight up brain damage, and he recovered. However, I think at that point he might have been switched out then, um, because all right. So this album right here, this was in 1998, right? So this is like a little bit after that time. But look at this dude's hairline. His hairline does not look like this now. He's a whole lot bigger. Like he's been on steroids. Head is big. He has a full hairline coming all the way down here. He does not look like this guy. And his face is smaller. He was a lot thinner. A uh, lot, lot of different changes there. Um, you know what I mean? And then, you know, look at that. Uh, just think about like. Between 2000 and 2002, he didn't come out with any albums. He did like the Kingdom Come soundtrack. But he came out with the Rebirth of Kurt Franklin where he cut off all his hair. He was bald. So that's an indicator. Like he must have cut all his hair off because they must have did something with him. And then later on, he just started morphing and morphing and morphing. You could tell he's either taking steroids or something. But all of a sudden, man, he just completely changed. He did not look like this dude right here. He does not look like this guy. He completely don't look like that. Like facial hair. He barely had any facial hair. You know, now he's walking around like painted on beards and stuff like that. Because I think he's on steroids or something, man. But he's definitely not this, this same guy. And then the other part is, I think like, you know, when you ever see him perform, he's kind of glitched in his performance. Like he does the same dance over and over like they like somebody programmed him as if they put a certain program in him to make him do this one particular dance over and over and over no matter what without fail he does some type of spin and he does this dance and he's always holding his arms like this he's like glitched you know what i mean so i don't know but he's definitely a far cry from this guy right here this was kirk franklin this used to be him you know receding hairline type of dude um amazing artist i mean now he's making albums like losing my religion and all these different things just things kind of getting away from what created him um but you know and then i think uh one album he had fight of my life he was talking about how he had writer's block right so i was that was pretty telltale to me too i'm like I get it. Artists can get writer's block, but you still force the album, force songs out. Like maybe he was under a contract or something. But the guy who pre-accident, this guy, he was very prolific. He was prolific with his music. And I'm not saying his music isn't great today and good today and solid today. Now he has a whole team. And one guy in particular, Sean Martin, is really the the guy he's the foundation for Kirk Franklin's music um he played on this album but now he's like his main musical director so a lot of the music that you hear from Kirk Franklin is really a lot of stuff that Sean Martin has played has created so really not even so this is the guy that made this stuff it's not the same guy that make is making the music he's made today because he's been cloned anyway um let me know what you think do you think Kirk Franklin's been cloned also, I wanted to ask you this, or I wanted to say one other thing. He runs with Kanye West. Kanye West has been cloned, and I'll make a video about that too. Like, subscribe, let me know what you think in the comments. Peace.